Hi folks and welcome to another video from A Plain Truth. You know I want to go a little off script today and go on a little rant. I did an interesting uh, little poll here with these releases from this uh, these comedy channel that does spoofing and parodies and stuff and the comments have been pretty interesting and also the numbers of views and uh, I just want to bring it to your attention because it's a pretty good cross-section. Uh, I've got I get over five to seven hundred comments a day that I go through um, and um, I just want you to notice the numbers here of yesterday's releases. They're all two-minute videos, just real short and stuff, so everybody could click on them and not waste too much time here. Um, but notice, you know, I knew I knew that uh, the boobs one was going to get 3,000 views, and I knew I was going to get some people upset with me for that as well. Um, and I also know that this piece here on Inner Yoga, I want to just talk to people a little bit about yoga. Uh, Eastern uh, philosophy that uh, heal yourself. They don't have doctors in Tibet, folks. They never take the power to heal away from you. I broke my back severely at 40. They wanted to fuse my back, started taking yoga, uh, became a practitioner, healed myself, took it back to the Western doctor. I grew up in a medical family. Western doctor who makes $12,000 a surgery for fusing people's backs so they can hardly walk again at 40 years old told me he would not see me even though I paid for a new MRI and told, showed him how I had fixed and cured myself after he told me I could not. Western medicine ranks 38th in the world in quality of care of modern countries at dead last. Number one in cost. Let's speak to these guys in the white coats and tell them they need to wake up. You're going to go to a football, baseball, soccer game, they rank 38th in the world, are you going to support them? Yet you go blindly and take whatever vaccines or whatever the doctor says because he's going to cure you? All right, moving on. Uh, so I was saying is, you know, the highest video uh, besides boobs, surprisingly, I, I waited to release it last because I kind of kind of had an idea this was going to happen. But look at the most views. Google Home Invasion It's only 39 seconds, but it's also being shared and whatnot. And not too many comments, but, you know, it's about your rights, about people coming into your home, about them viewing you. You don't like that. OK, it's it's about me. And we got to get away from this mentality. It's about me, folks. It's about all of us. We're all being geoengineered. It's, it's, it's a dome over us for the past five days here in Northern California. 70 degrees. We got record heat waves in Los Angeles today. It's raining down in uh, Marin County here on, in July. And up north, they're having record heat waves up in Canada. And I'm gonna, the next one's going to be on geoengineering, which is the most important talk, which is what we really need to talk about. And we need to talk about heroes like Chris Haskell down in Tucson who's being brought up because he was too successful trying to prevent us from all being sprayed like bugs. So our children have a chance to live because right now, folks, your children, my children, they don't have a chance. The future, I talk to Deborah Tavares and others all the time, and we see the writing on the wall. It's a controlling mechanism over all of us, and you're right to be concerned about your privacy, but this is not a war about you. This is a war, a spiritual war, not a material war. So please, folks, let's focus on everyone. We all need air to breathe. We all need love to live. And we all need food. Okay? We need to support each other. We have fake food now, and that's one of the least ones that was clicked on because everybody knows that the food is a bunch of crap, and it's going to get a lot worse. I'm going to show you in the next video, sad to say. So if we don't speak out now, our voices are going to be muted and controlled. We see the writing on the wall. All right? So I need you all to speak out. And the other thing is I need you to all just really kind of just focus on the message and not, you know, if I make a word mistake or or if I say something incorrectly, great for correcting me, but focus on the message, folks. I try my best. I've got over 670 videos, I think, out there now. So I'm just one guy pumping it out here, trying my best. I'm exposing myself. Um, and, and, you know, we'll get into this in a sec, what's happening to me and Deborah Tavares and some of these other truth activists of what you're looking for when you get into this kind of work. But I want to take on this CrossFit here because this is kind of a crack up. I threw this in because I have a lot of Christian followers, I guess, on this channel. And welcome. Great. I grew up in a Christian family. I was an altar boy growing up. And then I found that there was much deeper meanings behind it all that the, the Christian religion is a religion that reconnects. Re legate means to reconnect, just like yoga means to re to yoke. It's reconnecting to the spiritual divine. It doesn't matter which side of the fishbowl you get to. We're all talking about source. We're all talking about divine. And I want to kind of start calling out you Christians because you're calling me out. So on this video, I don't think this is funny. It's about guys carrying a cross and getting a workout in. God, not funny at all. 
God, lighten up, folks. You know, just lighten up, you Christians. I mean, you're the ones that come and attack everybody else and you pray for us. But where's your action, folks? Where are you active? Why, are you an activist in action? What would Jesus do? Remember those bracelets and stuff, folks? Are you speaking in your parishioners? Are you speaking to the churches, the 501c3s that don't pay taxes so they don't speak out against the government or say anything? Are you talking in your churches to your pastors? Are you speaking out about the religion that has pedophile as their principal religion, where the abuse and cover-ups of the Vatican and other Catholic, I know you're Christian, not a Catholic, even if you're a Catholic, why aren't you speaking out, folks? It's all about in the name of God, and look what they're doing to the children. Look what they're doing to all the pedophiles that's been convicted and going on everywhere. And look at whose ass they're kissing in our government, who you talk about Trump or Bush or Obama. They're kissing the ass of the Vatican, so why aren't you going after the Vatican, Christians? It's right in your home base. Why aren't you talking to your priests? Why aren't you calling them out and bringing them this information that the Vietnam War was started by Cardinal Spellman? It was called Spelly's War. And they want you to stay silent. They want you to not speak out. And they want you to just pray for everyone. I'm sorry, but that's bullshit. Praying, which is P, capital P for principal ray, the principal ray of light, is used for all. That it's good for all. So please pray for all, but get active. In your Bible groups, are you bringing up flat earth and saying, hey, the Bible is a flat earth Bible. Okay, hey, let's talk about that. Are you, are you speaking to others and your Christians? Are you, are you going after that guy, the Vice President Pence, who's a Jesuit who wants to destroy all Christians and heretics, as is written? And that's their mission, and you'll go all vote for him because Pence is saying the Christians are going to be, you know, front and center, just like, you know. No, that's not what they're, they're coming after the Christians, folks. They want all souls. It's the reaping of all souls. So how many of you are aware of the Jesuits' fourth vow that will exterminate all heretics, Protestants, liberals, extirpate and exterminate them from the face of the whole earth, burn, waste, foil, flay, bury alive, these infamous heretics, folks. These are the wombs and crush the women and crush their infants' heads against. Okay, this is who we're against, folks. And look at how many their numbers are. Look at the numbers. 17,800 of them at 3,700 institutions. Why are we not all outing them and get them out of this power base and the christians are right next door no knock on the catholics door call out the jesuits educate everybody because a lot of people don't even know who the jesuits are this is part of the truth telling we all can do and need to get active okay please and please go and look at my 1933 uh, 14th amendment video i just did and learn that we're all enemies of the state and these guys all support them you know, learn about all the pedophiles, like at Baylor University, where the guy that defended uh, Ken, what's his name, defended Clinton against the, uh, the Monica Lewinsky stuff and then went to run the Baylor University and they had pedophile charges brought up, just like at Paterno brought up on pedophile charges. And bringing it home to my uh, brother's family in Waco, Texas, where they're very involved at Baylor University. I bring this stuff up with them, and it's just met with silence. It's a Christian school, pedophiles everywhere. Kenneth Starr was the name I was trying to come up with. He uh, <laughs> handles all the sex inquiries. He had to resign from Baylor University because of all the football players. It's indescribable what they were doing. Uh, but he also defends the billionaire pedophiles as well. And this was Bill Clinton's, uh, uh, the attorney, the prosecuting attorney for Clinton during the Monica Lewinsky uh, quote-unquote scandal. All the same team, folks. It's just theater, but behind it is some very, very sick things we need to speak out and act out and inform others. Now you're seeing immigrants being taken away. Is that what Jesus would do, folks? No. You know what Jesus would do? What he did in his first and last act, and I covered in another video, and I'll put parts of it here in a minute. And here's a bug I have up my butt is, you know, we, we go by A.D., the Christ event and the before the Christ event. And it, now we're in the Christ 2018. But let's go back in history, folks, to 1 A.D. And here's a list of all the historians. And please tell me one that chronicled the life of Jesus while they were while he was living. There are none. There's no historical facts, and Christians love to argue about the ark and the fact that they found this and that and the other thing, but when you talk to them about who chronicled Jesus while he was alive, you get all upset instead of investigating his story. So you need to look at her story and see that it's a much deeper, much greater story with her story added in going back 
much, much greater times. But no doubt the Jesus Christ event was to give us all power, was to show us that we are all spiritual beings with much greater power. It's the message. It's not whether the historical reference, whether he lived or died. And that's what resonates with us all. And why? Because the guy was a superhero. He sacrificed to the sacred. So please, you know, the holier than now, let's see your actions. Let's see them loud. Let's see them clear. Let's see them now. And, and it's not what Jesus would do. It's what he allegedly did. He was crucified for what he did, folks. Three days after he went back again. At 30 years old, he went after, uh, on his ministry and he went and turned over the banker's tables. Here you see him with a whip. He's beating people. I mean, I'm not saying go do this because we got to love one another. But folks, you got to wake up. This is what Christ is showing us in a spiritual being, a divine source, is taking on the darkness, is actively being an activist in action and doing something about it. And to everyone still with me so far, thank you. But it's also about suffering, folks. What is the whole image of Christ being nailed to the cross, painfully having thorns in his head, and then being uh, stabbed so his bones wouldn't be broken like the other two that were on the cross, the, the thieves? I mean, Mount Golgotha means of the mind. It is a spiritual battle. It's what Christ came down to do in spiritual consciousness in the most densest of human form. We're only 500 years out of the dark ages the picture of history is much bigger go look at the vedics 311 trillion 40 billion years of one montavara palaya breathing in and breathing out our history is much greater we need to get back to her story but it is also about suffering because suffering brings people together sad to say but that's human's nature so through suffering we learn to love one another couldn't be more clear all right. And then also when you're talking about the Bible, when you talk about the King James Bible, which I have very big issues with about how it was created in Google Roman Catholic Church and Gutenberg Bible. And you see who owned the Bible when it was made. It was the Vatican who wants to remove all Christians and heretics and has more money than God in their vaults. And a lot of Christians say, well, I'm not associated with Catholicism or <clears throat> that's not me. Yeah, we're all in it together. So we got to stand up against those that are in our midst that we can reach, look and touch. And we got to speak out. I got out of Wall Street because I couldn't stand it anymore. And then what about the books, the apocryphal gospels, the ones that were hidden that the Vatican keeps underneath? It talks about reincarnation and the kingdom of God is with inside you. What about the Dead Sea Scrolls that they found and they hid away? What about the Nag Hammadi Library in Upper Egypt in 1945? You know, the scriptures of Thomas Philip and the gospel of truth. Hey, shouldn't we all talk about the gospel of truth? Well, no. No, it just seems like it's the King James Version or nothing at all. There's no discussion outside that. Well, let's talk about the Gospels or ghost spell, casting spells. That's why we have spells in school. Well, they were written after his death. The first one, 66 years. There's that number after his death, okay? So whether they're making all this up as far as the history goes, it's not as relevant as to the above, as above, so below. And when we start opening our minds to a much greater realm of our universe of multiverses, we see Da Vinci's painting. We see the 12 apostles here. What do they represent? The 12 signs of the zodiac and the theocosmogony. The theocosmogony of what is in heaven above is also the heaven below and inside of us. We just have to find it. What is Christ's halo? What is the cross? Winter, spring, summer, and fall. Solstice. It's what's the paganism. That's why the Roman Catholics built all over it. The zodiac is a flat earth map as well it works on flat earth you modern day christians and i don't mean to pick on you but you need to be aware that you need to talk about history that goes back much longer we're learning so much more now so you need to step up your game we didn't know about all the things that were going down about how evil the government was that it was out to get us we're all learning we didn't know about geoengineering as it's getting on worse we learned about gmos nobody's learned about nanotechnology and food which is even worse than gmos and if you want to see the real mark of the beast folks just look at your children and all of us, the smartphone, 2003 introduced, everyone's hooked, everyone's connected. This is the mark of the beast or just one of many. Um, we, our water is being fluoridated and all sorts of crap. Our rights are being taken away. We have big issues. So if it's not the bankers, pick something, but start in the group you're with. Start in the people you're at. I know it's difficult. I've, I've 
had very difficult uh, times with my family. This cost me a marriage and a, and a divorce when I decided to become really active and she wanted to live the lifestyle we had previously and it didn't resonate with me on Wall Street. So I, I quit. I moved on and live on limited means. But it's much worse than that, folks, because when you get into this work, like I've been in it since 2007, when you start getting it right, you start getting like Chris Haskell. For those of you who don't know about Chris Haskell, he's down in Tucson and he was too successful putting up geoengineering signs to protect us all. And they planted some powder on his three of his signs that he didn't even put out there, but he made. And he's on six felony ch charges looking at the equivalent of murder. Six felony counts, 15 to 20 years in prison. And his trial was moved back, but still... He's an activist. The first thing he got after they beat the crap out of him, he got back out of the hospital. He started making more signs. This is what we need. Activism. This is Christ in action, folks. This is the action. This is activist in action. And here's another hero of mine, Deborah Tavares, a dear friend and a wonderful, wonderful lady. This lady's been attacked with MK Ultra for years and it doesn't stop her. Uh, this is for a comment. This was a little while ago about Deborah. Uh, StopTheCrime.net or interviews. She's had death threats. She's been trying to get this info out. She's extremely knowledgeable, like Paul, like Paula Revere. Uh, Lou, her husband, has been attacked as well. It is painful. Another lady I have much, a huge respect for, Sarah B. She's under attack, car driven off the road, as has been Deborah as well. I'm currently under attack. As soon as I posted the stuff on the California fires, I felt something going in the middle of the night in the back of my heel. It's happened before, but never this bad. And my left foot has swelled up to three times the size. Extremely painful. It's been two weeks now and I can hardly walk. But Deborah's turned me on to a healer, a, a, a holistic healer, who just did some wonders this morning. I'm feeling much better. So what I'm referring to in these attacks is psychotronic weaponry, using layers, using vibrational frequencies. It's gotten so bad, this is down in L.A. These are called Targeted Individuals. We're Targeted Individuals, TIs. It's a great book by uh, Dr. Duncan, who worked on this stuff and then started speaking out, called Soul Stealer or Soul Catcher. That's a must-read, Dr. Robert Duncan. So contract stalking, electronic assaults, these growing crimes are not being stom uh, stopped. This is through geoengineering, this is through frequency modulation, and it's going to get worse and worse with 5G, no doubt about it. It's all about controlling us, and that's why I'm kind of screaming here. Wake up, act, and start somewhere and do something. So this is Long LAX Bull Board. There's more planned for Beverly Hills, Los Angeles, Washington, Boston, Vancouver. I'll put the links in the show notes if you want to help out as well. But this is what to expect, folks. Not only this, when you get into this line of work, when we're doing the Christ-like mission, we're being sacrificed. Even though we're activists in action, we're going to sacrifice ourselves for the greater good. This is what Christ did. This is why he knew he was going to die on the cross. But what he did is he threw over the banker's tables, folks. So my question to all you Christians, although there are still left listening, I are to you, because most of you have shut it off by now. Where's your action? Please put it in the comment sections. I'd love to hear what you're doing. I'd love to hear Christ activist in action, not athletes in action, activists in action. So here is one of the uh, comments from my peeps here. Uh, that I agree with, and I have had the same experience on Wall Street, and that's why I got out of it. I worked for the government for 13 years, filed legal claims when the employers, employees were doing illegal things until I realized that justice is a false illusion because the government's priority is to protect government entities, corporations, not people, because people are replaceable resources. That's why they call us the Department of Human Resources. It's even harder to get justice without an attorney, be, be, without an attorney, because the attorneys know study the language. They're also members of the bar, the British accredited registry, and the average person cannot even interpret the language of the many laws in place to keep us oppressed. That's why they put it in Roman Latin law, and nobody knows what the word Latin even means. From what I see, our only powers are spirits and numbers, but only after we stop being held hostage by deceptive religions and rely on ourselves to cultivate and exercise the spiritual power we have. And that's activism through love, through shining our light so bright into the darkness it can no longer hide. Too many are brain dead and spiritually dead. A lot are waking up but refuse to unite for a common spiritual goal. Look up blood over intent. That is starting to bring heaven on earth, but we also need to give power to the intentions of protecting only the divine righteous beings in all realms of life. 
We have to see everyone as a spiritual being, so we have to be a, abandoned prejudice to see truth and unite with other divine righteous beings to save ourselves. I don't agree with saving ourselves because we're not going anywhere. If we don't clean up our mess now, it's going to be much uglier again. Imagine if righteous beings outnumbers the unrighteous beings and united for a common spiritual goal to bring tangible results of protecting, strengthening, and empowering only the divine righteous beings and laws. It's called spiritual science, folks. People who step into their own spiritual power are a threat to the evil powers, but only in numbers and consistency like the evil powers. The evil powers have successfully ruled through generations and centuries, while we have not figured out in our short lifetimes how to unite righteous beings who truly want to end oppression of the divine righteous beings everywhere. I couldn't agree more. And just know when you get in this line of work, it's, it's going to be difficult in a lot of ways. We just hired the CIA torture specialist, the CIA, one of the torture specialists. She runs the CIA now. It's a torture specialist, folks. What do you think they're doing? And if you really get good at your work, you're going to be Aaron Schwartz. He was suicided along with many, many other activists. This is the line of work we're in. They know everything about you. They're coming for us all. You're going to have mandatory vaccinations coming very soon. You see the walls closing in. As soon as they go to cryptocurrency, there's going to be an event to put the real ID in, I guarantee you. And there are going to be mandatory vaccinations. And then through geoengineering and all the psycho, psychotronic weaponry that's already being deployed and has been deployed for quite some time is going to continue on and our children have no chance. So again, in just closing, what would Jesus do? This was popular in the 90s. They had bracelets and everything. I remember my Christian families and stuff would leave Bibles in the car and give me these bracelets and stuff. So my question to all you Christians is, what are you doing? Please share in the comments, share with other Christians what you're doing because we desperately need you because you're so well organized. You understand the spiritual battle that's going on, but I think you need to open your game to a much broader realm to include all souls. We're not, we don't need to be saved. We all need to be saved. It's not just about savior of one person so they can go up into heaven. Heaven is right here, folks. As I shown and Deborah has shown, we have all the water in the world. We stop geoengineering and we get free energy. We have abundance and our buns can dance. We have all the solutions here. Heaven is right here on earth, but they're giving us hell. It's the time of Aramon. It's the time of Antichrist. Our souls came here to fight this battle. Our souls came here to step up and put our own lives on the line for the greater good of all. That's what Jesus did, folks. Please, please follow him. All right. There's a plain truth. Thanks. And please don't, you know, don't tell me you're unsubscribing because really I don't care. This is just for people who believe in the divine of all people, the good of all sentient beings, that all life is precious and we're all divine. We're co-creators of God. We need to get creating. We need to get athletes and athletes, activists in action. And we need to step up to the plate knowing we're taking full risk for our lives. But if we don't do it now, it's going to be much, much harder for future generations. So sacrificing to the sacred is what this is all about. Please help us. We need your help. Help Chris Haskell and step up because the more numbers we have, the less they can attack us all. Start a YouTube channel, get on Facebook, do your tweeting, share this with others, speak in your Bible groups, speak out to your family. This is not a time to be silent, please. It's too serious a time, folks. I wish I had some hopium to offer you, but the hopium is we are the change we have to see, and time is short. All right, plain truth out. I love you all. Thank you all for your support over the years. Uh, it's just been wonderful to, to be this far down the road and not be shut down yet, and I appreciate Appreciate your audience. I appreciate you spending time here and supporting us and, and what we're doing. I can feel your love coming through the comments. And please, uh, we're going to try and put on a little tour here and start talking to others because staying silent and knowing what you know is not a good way to be. You need to speak to others and others in the same that are keeping quiet. This is why we all need to speak out. All right, plain truth out. Peace. Love one another.